going to talk about blood pressure. And I know we talked about in class a little bit that the MMHD, milligram, millimeter of mercury, would be for something like this nice old device, which truly is a mercury reading signal manometer. But you don't see these very much anymore. So the MMHD is usually dropped when we're recording our blood pressure because these don't work like that anymore. Right? So that's the gold standard, and they actually calibrate these two days. Okay. They do, but I, I am not sure that they're necessarily mercury. So yeah, mercury is one of those taboo things. Mercury is one of those things, kind of like asbestos, that they're trying to get rid of. Except it's <laughs> okay. So yesterday we also talked about what happens if you have a blood pressure cuff and you're getting ready to check your patient's blood pressure, and the cuff size is too small. Okay, but what happens to your blood pressure reading? A false high. There you go. Great. Okay, and if I use a cuff that's too large, a false low. So, how am I going to know? If I turn the cuff this way, can you see me? Hello, I can't see you. Just show it to you and we're good. All right, so this is the range. And how are you going to know is if I take this and put it around her arm, about one inch above the antecubital space, what I'm going to see is the other side of me has a little arrow. It should fall in that white range. Yes. Okay. Now, in order to check the size, I've done this up and down. So I cannot take my blood pressure yet. Okay, so now I have to remove it. Now, Ms. Miller, is it okay if I use the right arm? Sure. Okay. One of the things I want to make sure is that there are no IVs in this arm. No. Uh, dialysis shunts in this arm, no injuries, that she's not had any pain in this arm, that she has not had a mastectomy on that side. That would also count for males. Males can have mastectomies, males can have breast cancer. Okay. That should not affect it because it's, it's, the, it's, it's the lymph, lymph node involved. The lymph system with the breast cancer, the Right, so augmentation should not matter because we're not disrupting the lymph node, okay? So, and there could be some other reasons why a patient might prefer one arm over the other. So I'm using her right arm, and this tells me where the artery, I should find the artery and put this there. So what I want to do is actually find, and there's a problem, sorry, find her brachial artery. Once this arrow pointed there, and I'm going to tighten this around. And ideally, you'd want it not on clothing. Like this right now. Mm -hmm. Snug without being too snug. It's not sliding down, and that's a good. That's a good okay? And that's pointing to her artery. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready to tighten this, and I'm going to Feel her pulse again. Okay. I need to be able to see. I'm going to start pumping up. Oh, I want her to be seated, first of all, in a chair with a back so that her back can be supported. Her legs should not be crossed. Okay. And ideally, her feet should be on the floor. Okay. That would be the best way to get blood pressure. Okay. So now, Tightening, tightening this up. I'm going to pump until I don't feel her pulse any longer. Okay, it went away. I'm going to go 30 more. Okay, and I'm going to let it down. So I don't have my stethoscope in yet. I'm not hearing a thing. That was my baseline. Okay, so it went away at 90. I pumped it up to 130. 120. 120, excuse me. It was 100 the first time. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> 100. It was 100 the first time. I pumped it up to 130. So that's the estimated systolic. Yes, Trying it is. Trying to figure out what the systolic number is so that she 
doesn't arbitrarily pump it up too high and hurt our patients. It causes our blood pressure to go higher. So that's called, this is the first step. The FDA is just solid. So. Right, that's right. find the radial pulse really readily, so it might be your best choice. <coughs> okay, in between, I want to wait 30 seconds to a minute so that her circulation can return to normal. She's sure. not feeling numb or anything That's like that. Correct. Okay, now I'm going to remember what that number was. It was 100. I'm pumping up 30 above that. I want to make sure I can actually see. Or getting naked. There you go. <laughs> and it's 
checking somebody's blood pressure and you've gotten your estimated systolic and when you start deflating the cuff, you hear it immediately. You didn't go high enough. Okay. So at that point, you should let it down, let it deflate all together, and now you know you need to go higher than that. Okay. As far as pumping up the cuff, Practice with these so that you can get this little gauge right so that you can turn it the right way and it doesn't fall off and it doesn't stick and you're not pushing air and it's not doing anything. Okay. Practice with that because we give you three pump ups. If you're fooling with this and you turn it the wrong way and it's just air leaking all over the place, that counts. Okay. You don't you want to practice. Know your equipment. So you have to, it depends upon which way you're holding it in your hand. So right. practice with them. The knobs get closer to the bulb when it's closed and further away when it's open. But I would say figure out which way it's comfortable to hold in your hand, which side the knob is on for you, so that you're always doing it the same way. So you know whether you're pulling towards you to loosen or pushing away from you. That's another really good point, though, as far as using your equipment, knowing your equipment. When you're using this stethoscope to get a blood pressure, no problem. These, these are fairly thick as far as their tubing goes. You don't hear a lot of interference. When you're using that litmin that we're going to use, it's extremely sensitive. So, are you on your arm right now? What, okay. what you want to do to hold this, I want to find her artery and I'm going to put it so that I'm holding on either side and not touching that tubing. I don't want to put it here and hold it that way because it's kind of like putting a finger in your ear. Okay? So I'm going like this so that my fingers are not dangling on that tubing. Because believe me, with those litmans, you hear everything. Okay? So get used what feels comfortable to you. There's nothing wrong with if you turn it and hold it this way. I don't care. So long as it's on there and it's secure. Okay? Questions? I see people very anxious to talk. Okay. We have found 